Welcome to Why I Oppose Primaris. Now, I'm going to sum this up for anybody who, one, doesn't like my voice or doesn't want to listen to a longer-winded video. That's not going to have a huge amount visually going on. There will be some, but not a lot. And it is simply, I oppose the Primaris on a marketing level, a longevity of the game level, and a design level. I don't really care if people enjoy it. I'm glad for them, but in my honest opinion, just trying to sum it up as quickly as I can for those that don't want to listen to it, is I believe that the marketing decisions have gotten in the way of the game, the game's setting, and the game's lore, and has effectively ripped out the soul of what made the game and turned it into something completely different that will, a long term, affect the health of the game itself. So for everybody else, here is the more long-winded explanation. So back in the Once Upon Lands, um, there was a book trilogy that came out. Kind of a campaign thing, but we'll just call it a book trilogy for being way too nice to it. The Gathering Storm. A fan fiction wrapped in a official marketing and effectively something that when it occurred I saw a lot of people getting very upset and very annoyed with the alterations to the setting so I had done my own research into it and one of the things that annoyed me the most was the introduction of the Primaris but it wasn't because they were tall or any of those kind of things that I really opposed them. I opposed them because the way I saw things was really simple. It was opening the floodgates to a never-ending tidal wave of Space Marine releases, where I had been arguing within my own friend group that they need to just do a uh, revision of the core set or kits to the the army and then move on to a number of the other armies which needed full revamps to begin with we've seen them do a little bit of it but in the pursuit of constantly pumping out more and more and more primaris we haven't seen full range reflect freshes like we should have especially after this many years i'm looking at the fire drakes right now but the point being, I opposed them for a number of reasons. But one was I didn't think it would be healthy to have a new version of the Space Marines come out, swallow up more of the attention granted to the setting or could be given in the setting, and it's trickle-down effect on all of the other ones, how they all kind of turn into background characters who are there to kind of make the Primaris just look good. Even though in a lot of cases they get their butts kicked these days, it's really weird and dumb, but whatever. And I really did not like that because I really thought that GW needed to pull back on the Space Marines and just revise some of the kits and give more time and love to some of the other factions. Imperial Guard, Elder, Orcs, yada, 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 yada. You get my gist there. So my initial reaction was this isn't good for the customer, it's not good for the game, and it's not good for the longevity. And as we've seen with the Stormcast in Age of Sigmar, I believe this will inevitably end up in a situation where they will take unpopular kits, chuck them in a trash can, and go, screw you. And then make revised versions of those kits that they'll try to sell you later on. So that we end up in situations where they start burning out kits simply so they can make something new and try to sell it to you. As opposed to revising kits. And let's be perfectly honest, when we look at the Primaris line, there are so many unnecessary kits that a lot of people will probably think, oh, this is good. They're, they're getting rid of the unpopular ones, but they're just going to bring them back, and it's really dumb, and we don't need as much expansion as that line has gotten. It's ridiculous. The other element, and this is my petty one, so I'm going to put my petty one up next. I hated them from an aesthetic point of view. Now, go on a little adventure with me, because everybody's different. 
So if you like them, fantastic. But I didn't like errant armor. I just never liked errant armor. I do have some of the old uh, Death Watch or um, yeah, Death Watch uh, veterans who are a fantastic kit, far superior in my opinion to the Primaris kit. And I don't understand why the Primaris kits are not on the level of the Death Watch veterans, at least in posability. They should have more posability, but. I'm getting sidetracked. I was never a major fan of errant armor. I just never liked it that much. I didn't like the little balls around the, the freaking ankles. I didn't like the unnecessary, uh, you know, choker that they always wore. I just was not a fan of it. I mean, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't my ideal next step in armor. And then I was never a major fan of horse heresy for the mark four uh, power armor and for some damned reason they decided that they need to take the mark four helmet and slap it on upsized slightly revised errant armor which is really all tacticus is and combine them and i hate the tactical uh bolt rifles why, why did they have little tactical rails on them? Why did they need to extend them? Because they, what, they needed to be longer? They just couldn't use bolt rifles? Whatever. Or bolt guns, and we had to go with bolt rifles. Whatever. I just dislike them very much on an aesthetic level. I think they lose a lot of the previous style and look of the, uh, the Space Marines. And I just... I think they go along into turning Space Marines into monkly kind of into a monkly knightly kind of warriors into mass-produced automatrons that no one actually cares about on an individual level. But that's my petty one. Disagree to agree. Whatever. The other element is I feel that their introduction alongside the bringing back of Reboot Girly Man and the Great Rift and all of these things has ripped the soul out of the setting. We've seen it from the Warhammer Adventures to the art where the art's kind of gotten a weird, like, brighter, more calming, cleaner look to it. Whereas we've gotten rid of a lot of the, the harder edge stuff, the the rougher things, the elements that made it grim dark. So personally, in my standpoint, I wanted a grim dark setting. I didn't want a bright hope setting where you had super super soldiers who were easier to produce, had better modular, by the way, massive technological leap, uh, armor, newer weapons, hover tanks on and on and on all of these things move the setting further and further away from any semblance of there being any degree of a grim dark setting and i hate that and really it does remove one of the things that i would refer to as the soul that kind of grim we're losing but we're fighting for every damn ounce of soil we can manage till the bitter end and turns it into well we have super super soldiers who can uh, go out there with their super new stuff and just simply wipe the field so who cares again i'm not stupid enough to think the tyranids are going to win <laughs> just saying so as that goes um to me this the setting's really lost a lot of its lore its luster its soul and on top of it, we can talk about the lore implications. Can anyone really claim that the Black Templars are acting like Black Templars when they go along with a Elder Witch, a Tech Heretic, and then embrace a bunch of, well, let's just say, suddenly pop out of nowhere super, super soldiers? Hmm? Anybody? Anyone wants to make the argument that Tem Black Templars at all seem like the type of people who just roll with that and accept it? Dark Angels? And yeah, I know there's little lore things that they've done, but they're, they're so half-hearted. They're not 
actual serious attempts because GW doesn't want to actually do a story where there are actual chapters that refuse to have Primaris because that's where they want to go. <laughs> They're not going to put roadblocks in their own way. They'll have Seth say something like, grr, grr, grumble, red ultramarines, grumble, 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 and then totally be on their side later on. The, the thing is, when it comes to lore... They've bent over backwards the lore so that they can shove the shit in there and remove any chance for us to have an interesting story. W wouldn't it be more interesting? Wouldn't it be cooler if the Primaris were kind of, even though they're superior, air quote, um, kind of underdogs? Having to prove themselves, having to earn their place, having to, to get people to actually at least respect them. No, just have everybody be like, hey, cool, let's grab that new fangy dangy in a culture that's steeped in 10,000 years of grinding tradition. Yeah, that all makes sense. So, in short, I dislike them and I oppose them because of the damage they've done to the setting, the lore, the fact that it feels like the very soul of what made the setting stand out is being slowly pulled out. Not that the mobile games are helping. Trust me, there are other reasons for this. And aesthetically, I don't like them. I just don't... I think every good story that they could have produced in this regard, they have simply allowed to die on the vine. They didn't care because they were so determined to force-feed this group that they didn't consider any of the stories any of the lore it was all marketing and i have committed the dumbest sin that i could ever commit and that was trying to defend folks freaking value on the products you know you as the customer deserving better that has been the one that i think i've gotten the most blowback other than people just telling me you have bad opinions which I'm okay with. I actually like it when I get to talk to those folks and have an actual debate with them, or at least understand their point of view. But in closing, I don't really intend on touching on Primaris again. I will maybe make fun of them in kind of a, you know, the good natured way, but I don't play modern 40k anymore, and I don't care what they generally put out for it, which is sad. I've mostly moved to one-page rules and plain older editions. I mostly care about what the Horse Heresy releases are. And let's just say I'm still eyeballing a couple 3D printers in the future. So, wink, wink. So, let me try to wrap it up in this way. I don't hate people who like Primaris. I don't even necessarily dislike them. I just dislike what has happened. I will call it the Primaris effect. And I think it ha will have long-term implications and effects on the setting. And it'll probably take a very long time for it to, well, recover in some ways. It's what happens when you add new things in such an unserious manner to something that's lasted so long. And when you undermine the perceived value of units like they have done with the uh, Stormcast in Sigmar. And the fact that it will inevitably come increasingly to the Space Marine line and will include Primaris. And probably a lot of them since there's so many unnecessary kits in that line. Um, so... You know, this is what I thought. I tried to keep it somewhat short. I didn't really feel like anyone cared to hear a really detailed and amazingly uh, in-depth opinion. So I tried to keep it as uh, light as possible. So apologies for the bit of rambling. And um, don't worry, people who like Primaris, I don't plan on talking about them as much as I can get away with. So, have a fantastic day as a box falls down behind me. Bye-bye!